Hey guys, Dr. Paul here. Now, I'm lucky enough to work at a practice that has a Cerec machine. We use this guy every single day. Basically, it means that we can do crowns in the same visit. Now, how we actually do it is you scan the tooth and it makes a 3D image and then we've got a machine that actually makes the crown. All of the reliance on the accuracy is from the scanning. Now the problem that we face is eventually the glass that covers the scanner can actually get scratched. When that happens, it means it doesn't pick up the image properly. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So this is our scanner and you can see those lines on the screen. That's where the scratches are. When we bring it to the tooth, it can still do an okay job, but they do actually inhibit how well it can actually pick up the image. That's what's happened to ours. And if it affects the scanning quality, it means that it affects the overall crown. So I've got a solution today. Oh my God. Oh wow. And this solution is this guy. It's the Sapphire Glass Polishing Kit by Angus. Now there's a dentist in Australia that is the distributor for that. So that's where we've picked this up from. So thank you, Dr. Kurt Dean. I'm gonna try it out. He's taking no responsibility for any damage that this may cause, but the results seem to be very good. So that means I'm not gonna be taking any responsibility from what you do, but I'm gonna show you how to do it and how the instructions go and like a before and after comparison. So. Watch along, I hope you get something out of it and it helps you scan better, then I'm happy. So this is the kit and this is what it comes with, I'll show you. So in this little container, this is the actual polishing paste. And then you've also got this brush which will attach to your slow speed handpiece that actually does the polishing. So as per the instructions, basically it says, simply apply the diamond compound to the outer diameter of the cylindrical felt bob, run the rotary hand tool at approximately 15,000 RPM, do it for about a minute or two in one direction, switch it, and then a minute or two in the other direction. Let's see how we go. And then we'll get the diamond compound onto the outside. I haven't used this yet, so. Oh, okay, watch out, it's gonna squirt out, so be careful with that. I'm just going to apply it all the way around. I guess try to make it an, an even coverage. So this is the head of our scanner. So you can see it's scratched there. And I'm expecting this is probably going to flick on me. So I might end up with this on my face. I might turn it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go to 15,000 revs. Okay, we've got a machine here that'll tell me we're at 15,000. So that's good. The head of the brush actually is very similar size to the actual scanner head. So it seems that this is kind of custom made for it. I'm not sure if it is. I don't know if they've made it specifically for these scanners. So that's a minute. I'm going to put a tiny bit more of that polishing compound on. And then we're going to do it as the directions say in the opposite direction. So turn it 90 degrees. Okay, just finished. Now I'm going to wipe it over. Oh my God. Oh wow. I'll take a photo in case you can't see it with this, but wow. Okay, so just looking at this screen, I can see that it's already looking better, but we might need to actually clean up under the lens there. But yeah, that's, uh, that seems nicer. There's just less shrapnel on the screen. So our scan has been scratch free for about a week now and we were making comments the other day about how we've noticed two main improvements. One is the quality of the scan, just picks up the image a lot better. And the second is the speed at which it picks up the image. So these are two pretty big things for us. We're really happy that we've done it. If you're in a similar situation, I definitely recommend it. Wow, all right, so there you have it. Turns out this stuff works really, really good. What I'm probably gonna do next is actually take the sleeve off because you can remove this. It looks like we've got a little bit of dust underneath there. I'll clean that out and I think we're good to go. This is pretty much brand new. So thanks to Angus and for Dr. Dean in Australia for helping us source this. It's gonna make our scanning so much better. Looking forward to it. If you've got any questions, put it in the comment section and I'll put some links on actually where you can get this in the description down the bottom as well. Thanks so much for watching and keep on smiling.